how do you know when you're reaching far enough with your design? If it's not pushing the limits of what's possible, it's not challenging the conventional wisdom about what a product can be, it's probably not worth doing. Great design isn't easy and it shouldn't be. I'm talking about radical innovation or innovation that blows up the system and replaces it with something entirely new. To get there, sometimes you need to break your process and throw away your plans. You've probably heard the quote from Eisenhower that says, plans are useless, but planning is indispensable. This is what he's talking about. You start down a path and at some point you have to get off the path and bushwhack to figure out what the right thing to do is. Once you're off the path, all you have is your curiosity, your analytical skills, your experience, some faith, and a lot of perseverance. I was working at Apple when we started on the iPhone and realized we wanted a glass screen. People were buying phones for durability at this point, so this was a huge risk. We weren't sure if people would buy a phone that might break when they dropped it. At the time, Nokia and Motorola's LCD screen phones were a huge success but we knew that touchscreens offered a whole new way of interacting and so many more possibilities for what you could do with a phone. A multi-touch capacitive screen was necessary to unlock the potential of the device. Because of that, we gambled on people putting up with its fragile nature. Of course, Steve Jobs was uniquely incredible at looking at a product and deciding whether or not it was amazing enough for widespread adoption. If you're not Steve Jobs, you're going to need to show decision makers that customers appreciate this radical thing you're trying to do. Startups are better at this than established companies because they don't have a conventional wisdom. Following conventional wisdom will always lead to the same product. It's often a rationalization of why current products aren't selling based purely on wisdom gained over the years. Companies have to change that up and question their core beliefs if they want to do something really new. If they don't, someone else will. To achieve radical innovation, you first have to acquire a counterintuitive mindset. And if you can't, hire people who will spend time questioning the beliefs to figure out if they're still valid. Because everything else is incremental.